Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to cover an MDF um, frame with fabric in order to make a display for Ganatel flowers. So let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is get a piece of felt and draw around the frame part of your set. And of course this could be card or anything, but the frame that I'm using is our small display frames. So I'm going around and I'm cutting out just the frame part from the felt. When you get to the center aperture, take care to cut it out as neatly as possible. That way you can use that center aperture on the backing of the frame to give it a little bit of padding which works particularly well when you're using um, any sort of Ganatelle. It just gives a little bit of extra. So as you can see I'm, I'm trying to do it very neatly. Don't worry if it's a little bit rough. It will all be sort of hidden anyways. You can always double check to make sure after you've glued it on, you can also trim off the edges because you want it to be as close as it can be. And so I'm just going to glue this felt on with regular PVA glue and leave that to dry. You'll need to do the same for your fashion or fancy fabric you'll need to leave um, at the very least a 15 millimeter uh, seam allowance. I would leave a bit longer actually. I didn't here um, and I also forgot to turn the video camera on when I was cutting it and measuring it. For the oval as you can see you need to make little snips so that it will go around the curve really nicely. So take your time, put the glue as close to the edge of the back of the frame. And what you're doing is you're covering that felt padding. So you need to pull your fabric so that it's nice and smooth on the front. So just take your time, pull a little piece over, glue it down, pull the next piece over, glue it down. Um, it's a little time consuming, but it's really worth it because the inside edge um, will then be covered. And you will also have that nice little bit of rounding, a softness that you wouldn't have if you just painted the MDF or other type of frame, flat frame that you're using. And this is a really nice way. You see this often in traditional um, Ganatel church displays, a sort of padded satin. So I'm nearly finished, just the little last bit. The next thing to do is to glue that waste bit of felt to the back of your frame and cover it with a piece of fabric that's going to be your backing and then glue the two halves together. And that will give a little padded bit at that center, which is a nice mount for your flowers. Clamp them together. That will help to make sure that the two pieces stay together. This particular flower is um, a bud, and you take a length of um, wire. In our cloister work kit, this little tool is included and you need to wrap the wire around the tool. Don't wrap too tightly or you won't get the wire off. So every once in a while, just check it, that it will still move. So it's like making pearl wire, but on a flat tool. So you'll just wrap around, as I say, not too tight. And um, I like to press it against the flat of the tool as well to sort of emphasize the shape 
of the wire and what I'm doing with it. But as I say, the biggest thing is to make sure you don't do it too tightly because it won't come off again and then you will have wasted some wire and get really frustrated. When you've wound the length of wire, and this could be as long as you wanted really, just pop it off and you see it will automatically twist and have that nice little kink to it, which is effectively how bullion wire is made, but it's made with flat strips of metal, not with wire. Thread through another piece of wire and then twist the coil onto this wire. Um, and you can twist the coil a little bit with your fingers as well to emphasize that natural twist that is there uh, before you actually fix it by twisting it to that core wire. And this gives you basically a stem. So you can bring that around and then twist the two ends together. So Whilst in the cloister work kit, this is a bud, you could, of course, use this as petals. You can just use it as fillers um, out of all different types of wire. But as you can see, it gives a nice little effect and a sparkly touch. When you're putting together um, any of the wire flowers, it's always a good idea to choose your center and then take a separate piece of wire to attach the petals too, as opposed to trying to twist the petal onto that central stem. It means that you can fiddle about with it and you can manipulate it as much as you like. This particular, um, these petals are made using um, a stretched bullion wire. And again, the full instructions are in the kit for how to actually do this. There are, um, quite a few different types of, of metal flowers in the kit shown. The thing about the cloister work Ganatel is that it is all of the sparkly threads. Um, so traditionally it is the bullions, the pure silvers and so on. And the point is meant to be sparkle and catch the light. And very often the Stems are not covered as you would with a silk Ganatel flower. You would cover the stems to hide the wire. It's just neatly done so that the wire can still catch the light, even in the shadows. It's, it's really, really quite nice. Again, when you're working your arrangements, a separate piece of wire, use a separate piece of wire to twist those together. It helps to keep all of that work that you did to create each of the individual flowers intact and you're not twisting it or perhaps even untwisting it um, if you're using a separate piece of wire. And of course you can get quite um, elaborate with this by putting in a different color wire if you wanted to as you're joining them. Um, and now really it's about fiddling. It's about setting up your arrangement so that it will fit in whatever you're doing, but in this instance, to fit within that oval frame. As you can see, the inside of the, the oval, you're not going to see it really with the amount of, of flowers that I'm putting onto it. So any um, issues you may have had with your, your felt or anything like that, you won't really see. And just now is just the time to just keep fiddling. Honestly, I've cut a fair bit out of this video of me fiddling and tweaking and, well, what can I say? This is, this is what I do. <laughs> I've spent far too long doing some of these things. All of these flowers were made with the materials in our cloister work kit. So you can see, you can actually make even more than this, um, depending on which flowers you choose, of course. Um, so you'll have plenty to be able to do a project like this.
I'm trimming off the excess wire here um, and I have used my uh, pliers to bend that thickness of the stem back. Take your time when you're you're trimming a large, you know, a lot of the wires that have been twisted into like a stem like this. Just cut one wire at a time. Cut the smaller pieces. You can get it, it's much easier then if you do it that way. Let's say fold back any of the stem and then it won't show. I still have two little um, flowers that I want to add here and I'm going to add them onto the bottom. It's a little bit more difficult because I already uh, trimmed that stem but I, I wanted this to cover that last bit. So a little bit of manipulating, get the tweezers in there and you'll soon be able to find an arrangement that you're, you're happy with. And of course, more tweaking. The nice thing about the, um, particularly the cloister work flowers, so long as you don't crush any of the bullion, it's very, very forgiving. Um, Ganatel silk flowers, depending on the method that you use, can be more difficult to manipulate once they're made. You have to sort of, the spiral wrapped Ganatel, you have to um, make sure that you have the petals shaped as you make them because you run the risk of the silk popping off if you bend them too much. The prepared thread method of Ganatel, you don't have to worry, they are really robust. And then just decide your placement within your frame. I'm going to use some hot glue to fix this in. Plenty strong enough, we're only looking at a small display. But I mean this would be Obviously, the, these are church decorations originally, and so they they have a place for that. But I think you know a nice nice sort of wedding and table settings. You could also um, use something like this, particularly when you want a little bit of sparkle. And here's how it turned out once the glue had actually gone cold. You don't want to set something up with hot glue into this position until the glue is completely set. Thanks ever so much for watching. Any of the products are available over on our website. And um, I'd really love it if you would like and share the video. And stay tuned. I'll do some more. <laughs> Take care of yourselves, everyone. Bye-bye.